Hi guys, welcome back to part two of how to make your wig look brand spanking new. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I take my freshly washed wig and put heat back into it to get rid of all of the tangles, any matting, anything that is making your wig look old and damaged. You know when you've had a wig for a really long time and the fibers start clumping together and it drives you nuts because it stops looking like a natural wig when the wind blows and things like that? Well, in this video, we're gonna fix all of that. We're gonna fix the frizz. We're gonna fix the tangles. We're gonna fix absolutely everything that comes with wearing a wig for a long period of time. And now this is proven to work because I've been doing this for years and years and years and years on every single one of my heat friendly wigs. This is how I keep my heat friendly wigs lasting for years. So if you haven't seen part one yet, of how to thoroughly wash your wig, really refresh your wig, please head over to that video first. You're gonna wanna watch that one first, and I highly recommend you do not do this step that I'm about to show you next if you have not done this step first. After you've done part one, don't worry because at the end of that video, I have a link to this video, so you'll easily be able to come back to this one. All you're gonna need for this video is a mannequin head. The other thing you're gonna need is a mount. Now, I mount my mannequin head and my wig just like this. There's a hole in the bottom. It goes like this. I mount it onto my coffee table in the living room because typically when I do this process with my wigs and put heat back into it with the straightener, I like to sit there and watch TV because it entertains me while I just do my thing, refreshing the wig, and yeah, it makes the process kind of fun. Another thing you're gonna need is a hair straightener. This is one that I bought a really long time ago. It's old now. It doesn't matter what you use. It can be a cheap straightener. It can be an expensive straightener. Um, mine actually has a dial on it, a digital dial. So it tells me exactly what the heat setting's at. And this is important because you don't want the heat to be too high. They actually recommend 180 degrees. Now, 180 degrees, that's great, but sometimes I will go up to 200 and I find that that is perfectly fine. You just don't want to hold your straightener or your heat tool in one spot on your wig because you got to remember like we're not trying to fry it off. We're just trying to put it back to the way it used to be. Okay, so that's what I recommend. Another thing you'll need are clips. So I, I have these guys. I think I just got them off Amazon, either Amazon or Sally Beauty. Comes with a bunch of colorful guys and they're flat, makes it really easy to maneuver it up into your wig, help it stay on your mannequin head when we're sectioning off pieces because that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. And taking your fine tooth comb, which you'll also need to take little bits of hair and your straightener and to go section by section making it totally straight, taking the tangles out, no more tangles, no more old ratty wig. And the last but not least thing you'll need is your comb. Every wig wearer should have a comb like this. This is just a general use comb. It makes it really easy to just flutter on through your wig like so. We're gonna be using this to refresh our wig on the mannequin before we take our clip to section off. It just makes moving the hair around a lot easier to maneuver. I'm gonna head on over to my coffee table and we're gonna get started and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. Let's go. All right, so I've got my straightener plugged in. I got my wig securely fastened onto the mannequin head. So now what I'm gonna do is take the comb and just do a quick little once over all the way around the wig. Now I'm going to take my clips and I'm going to start sectioning off the hair, starting at the very base, at the very nape of the neck here. And you're going to want to make sure that you've taken enough hair away when you go section by section on the fibers with your straightener, you're not dealing with too much hair. So now that I've got a section here, 
I'm just going to take my comb and try to get out the tangles at the bottom so that when we do move our straightener over top, we'll have a smooth flowing straightener that can just pass right on through the fiber. So I focus the detangling right at the end of the hair where most of my tangles are. Now this is my be all end all trick. The hair is fresh, the hair is clean. Any type of heat that we put on it now is gonna solidify either the tangle or getting the tangle out. So what I mean by that is, for example, if your hair is all miscombobulated like this and you go and smack some heat on that, that's the way it's gonna stay. But if you comb this out and detangle this first and then go and smack some heat on it, you're gonna find that your wig is renewed to basically being brand new. All right, so the trick is to take your fine tooth comb here, stick it underneath like this at the very base of the nape of the neck, and then take your straightener. We're gonna follow just behind it here and just move down slowly. Till you get to the very end. Now when you bring your fine tooth comb through it, you'll see it just slides through. Look at that. It's honestly perfection. This is the way that I do it every single time. If you need to do it again, you can do it as many times as you want, but usually just a once over is good enough. So again, you put your fine tooth comb just like that, your straightener behind it, and slowly you just bring it down. Just like that. And did you see how smoothly and easily this comb went through the fiber at that point? There is no more tangles. And even better, the heat has solidified it to this exact state. So now we're just gonna leave that piece. It's gonna cool down as we move on to the rest of the hair. And we're just gonna continue all the way through until we've gotten every single section. So again, we're just detangling the ends here because you do not want to put heat on these tangles. We want it completely smooth when we bring the heat to it. There we go. And as you can see, the ends are kind of frayed here. Like the fibers really, um, it doesn't feel nice. It's really rough. It feels like this wig has been worn for months and it's old and that's honestly what it feels like. That's fine. That is what we want to work with. But what you don't want is when you bring your comb through for it to just keep getting stuck on tangles. If that happens again, you need to brush it out first before you put heat on it. Okay, so I've gotten out the tangles. So let's bring our straightener to it once again. Again, just behind the comb and move slowly down. There we go. That slid through perfectly. Let's do it one more time. Perfect. Just like brand spanking new. Look at what we've done so far. Look at how easily the comb moves through this. Look how beautiful that is. It just brings all the luster back. Again, one more time, get out the bottom tangles. Perfect, now let's grab the straightener. And as you do this more and more, guys, you will get really fast at it. My whole wig head, if I wasn't filming, I could easily get this done in maybe 15 minutes. Can you tell in the camera here just how beautiful and how soft this feels already? I swear to you, do this on a freshly washed wig, straighten it first before you go and put any curl on it. And the biggest trick I can say is to make sure the tangles are out before you put the heat on it. I'd say that's probably most important. All right, so we're finished with the nape of the neck. Now we can move on up. I'm gonna watch some TV and just do the rest of my wig and I'll be back to check in with you guys afterwards. Okay guys, so I stopped the video because I really wanted to show you half of the wig that I completed and the other half that is still untouched and the difference. I feel like that will be helpful for you to see. So this side is untouched. As you can see, if I try to run my fingers through, it catches. See, I'm already catching up here. It's really tough to get through. 
still catching, <laughs> can barely get my fingers through. See? <laughs> All right, well, it's like that every square inch on this side here. Now, let me show you the side that I've completed and just how beautiful this looks and how silky it is now. Just look at this. Easy. Your hand just glides through. And the fact that you can refresh a heat synthetic wig like this is the reason why I prefer them over just a regular synthetic. Because my regular synthetics, they just don't last this long. Whereas my heat friendly, I have the option to refresh it and make it look brand spanking new like this every single time. This is the after and this is the ratty before where you just get caught on everything. All right, so I'm gonna finish the wig, but what I did wanna say is that after you go through your wig and you straighten the pieces, you can then go back in and put some additional curls or waves in it, however you want your wig to look at that point. And because you've straightened it with the fine tooth comb ahead of time, your wig, after you finish curling it, is still gonna have that luster feeling. It's going to be so smooth. You're just styling it at that point. I'm back. I finished this wig. It's looking amazing. Can we talk about how smooth it is now? Look at this. Wow. My comb just glides through. <laughs> Can you believe this? This is like a brand new wig. It'll probably stay like this for me for a couple of weeks of everyday wear and then the fibers will probably start clumping together again and then I will just repeat the same thing I just showed you. Wash it, totally refresh it and get it clean and then put heat back onto it going ever so slowly with the hair straightener through the different sections of fiber to make it just so smooth. Just look at just look at this. I can't, I can't get over it. I can't get over it. The fact that this is a two year old wig looking this good blows my mind. It should blow your mind too. And I swear you can do this with any of your wigs and make it look like this. I do this with every single one of my heat friendly wigs and I've had so many of them for years. Once I get them, I typically don't need to throw them out or get rid of them ever unless I do something to the lace or accidentally snip it and then it starts to tear, something like that. But it's never been because of the fiber, ever, ever, ever. I swear by the way that I wash it, I swear by using fabric softener. I don't understand why people say fabric softener is the worst thing you can do for your wig. I don't agree with that at all. Um, as you can see, that, among other things, is the best thing that's ever happened to my wigs. In fact, I noticed that if I don't use the fabric softener, it's just, it's not the same. Like, I don't know which one of my steps has the most impact, but I know that combining them all together creates extraordinary results. I really just want you to see how beautiful this looks now. Like, what two-year-old wig will let you take a comb, a fine-tooth comb, and glide through the fibers? <laughs> right? It's just absolutely stunning. So let me just quickly give it a brush, and then I'll show you all of the different sides, just to show you how beautiful it is, and how truly back to life it has come. I'm just in love. I love the feeling of a freshly refreshed wig. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed these videos of refreshing your heat synthetic wig, and I hope you will actually give it a try with your wigs at home. And I, I do believe if you follow this step-by-step, step, I, I know you're gonna get the same results as me. Like I said, I've been doing this for years and I've only gotten the best results. So I wish you all the best with that. Please leave your comments down below. I'm open to hearing about all of your experiences. And if you have any questions for me or things that you would like me to do a video on, please let me know down in the comment section. And if you can think of anyone in your life who might benefit from watching this video and getting some tips and tricks on how to make their wig look brand spanking new, please share this video with them. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.